So good morning. This is Melissa Rivers with Origins of Peace. I hope your morning is off to a great start. So we are here for our morning intention setting session. And um, this morning we are talking about the value of uniqueness. So as I sip on my tea this morning, I have a cup full of Peaceful, which is the custom blend um, that I sell here at Origins of Peace. Um, it's been a week, I'm gonna tell you, it has been a week. So I am starting my day with some calm and relaxation tea just to help me stay focused. I have physical therapy on this Achilles in just a little bit. So um, I need to stay calm because sometimes that thing really gets me out of sorts. So in order to set my day um, on purpose and intentionally, I am here and I am talking about um, the value of uniqueness. Now, um, as I stated during yesterday's video, I'm bringing you another best of the blog um, uh, session today. Um, so this information was shared previously on my blog, um, on my website, but I thought it would be great to share it in video form. Um, it's one of our most popular um, postings. So I hope that you will find some inspiration in it and I hope that it will help you set the tone for the day that you wanna to have today. All right, so I will start with the prayer, which says, Dear Lord, your word says that I am uniquely and wonderfully made. Knowing this, I ask for wisdom and discernment to allow my unique gifts to shine through. I thank you for welcoming spaces and removed timidness. I thank you for open dialogue and room for growth and acceptance. I thank you for those much needed nuggets of wisdom that keep me motivated and moving in the right direction. Lead me, O oh Lord, in Jesus' name, I pray, amen. Amen, amen, amen. So I hope that will help you get started on your day today. So it is a day to show up uniquely as yourself. Ask God for all the things that you are believing and hoping for, believing in and hoping for, and just stand with expectancy knowing that he hears you, and that he is well able to answer the call. So your self-care tip for today is to speak your truth. What is your truth? What makes you happy? What brings you joy? And what brings tears to your eyes? What are those things? So ponder on those things and then um, go forth and speak your truth. So if there's something that you know causes you angst and anxiety and just causes you to constantly worry, speak about it. What is it? I mean, if you don't want to speak it out loud, write it down in your journal. But as long as you hold it in here and hold it in your heart, it's just going to fester. It's going to grow. It's just going to become more and more of a thorn in your side. And that is not what you want in order to move forward through your day with peace, purpose, intention, and prosperity. So speak it, speak your truth, whatever makes you happy, whomever you want to love, whatever it is that's on your heart that you have never like spoken out loud. It's time to just be truthful with yourself and speak on the things that need to be spoken. All right, so it's important to know um, these things about yourself and to embrace them. So after after you are confident with who you are, speak on it. Let others know who you are and what you stand for, okay? So if there's some boundaries in your life that have been being crossed and you like, of it, like tired of it, don't want it anymore, speak on that. Speak on those things. It will not only make you feel better, but it will also put you in a position to speak power in those places where you feel weak. All right, so... That is the self-care tip for the day. I do have a daily professional goal as well to go along with our value of the uniqueness. So about a month ago, I attended a networking event and the role that I chose to present was Melissa Rivers, the corporate consultant. After a few introductions and hearing others share about their business, I began to change my tune just a little bit. So, Honestly, I am so much more than a consultant. I am a creative peace coach. I often bypass sharing my self-assigned title because most people don't get it. They don't know what it is. But what I learned during that networking session is that um, 
the getting it is in the story and not in the title. So one of the people that I met this morning stated that her cover page on LinkedIn is a fairy because it truly represents her attitude and her demeanor and she chooses to show up authentically. So after I got home from that networking event and got back to my computer, guess what I did? I updated my LinkedIn profile. I updated it to include all the unique aspects of who I am and what my skill set provides. Corporate consultant doesn't tell you that I'm a creative genius. Corporate consulting doesn't tell you that I use creativity to critically think my way out of challenges or different um, things that arise during my workday. I'm a very creative person and um, I love that about me. I love that about me. And I love that I am the only self-appointed creative peace coach out here because I guarantee you won't find another. And if you do find another, it won't be like me. So I love that about myself and I embrace that, right? And um, creativity has been the way that I have um, found peace in my life, that I have been able to establish a sense of purpose um, and get my footing after various challenges. So I think I spoke on this before, but I have a book coming out um, in August. Yes, it's called From God With Love. So it is a poetry book, but it's also like an autobiography. So in that book, I talk about the passing of my father. I talk about overcoming breast cancer. I talk about a time where, you know, I just felt like, you know, no one was hearing me. Um, so there's a poem called A Prayer of Honesty. Um, there's a poem called Second Chances. Like it's all about overcoming challenges and conflict that come up in your life. And that is creative genius because I ain't seen, I have not seen a poetry book, um, well, excuse me, an autobiography that is positioned as a poetry book that is also positioned as a book to help with conflict resolution and overcoming challenges. So I did that. I did that. <laughs> All right. So um, being that creative peace coach, the truth is I help highly exhausted, overwhelmed professionals find peace by taking inventory of where they currently are in life and work, the challenges that they face each day, and then to take action to add more peaceful moments into their daily routine. That's me. That's what I do. I did it for myself and I love doing it for others, right? And then my final tip for today is to show up authentically. Don't allow fear to keep you stuck in a position or with a title that doesn't fully represent your uniqueness and your authenticity. There's only one you in this world. You're the only one that can be you. And God gave you a special set of gifts, skills, and talents. He combined those things just perfectly to make you who you are. And it's up to you to show up every day in that unique space and fill that void. So let's do it. Let's do it. It is Thursday. It is the precursor to the weekend. So give it all you got. I know it's been a week because I tell you it's been a week over here, but let's give it all we got. And I wanted to bring you one additional note um, because as I mentioned earlier, I am going through physical therapy right now for my Achilles. I have had to really take a step back as far as my physical movement in order to recover properly. And it, it just really gets um, tough sometimes. I'm going to be honest with you. So there's a, um, a message that popped up on my phone the other day. It came from my health app on my phone and it said, your walking steadiness is low and you may have an increased risk of falling in the next 12 months. And when I saw that thing, I was like, wait a second, wait, wait, wait. I know it was the health app talking about my, you know, my walk and my steadiness because it has been a little, you know, off balance recently. But it made me think about my faith walk because sometimes in this um, self-employment, on this self-employment journey, um, and being an entrepreneurship, um, it can get challenging. You know, there are things that come up that, you know, you don't expect or, you know, obligations and requirements that you are um, required to meet in order to bid or compete for certain contracts and just things that you weren't expecting. And, um, you know, I really 
that thing really, and it, if you can't tell, it's still really sitting with me uh, because it really made me check in to how I'm showing up and how I'm responding. So I always want to show up authentically. Um, but um, right now, what I'm doing is a check in. So my assignment for myself is to really study 2 Corinthians chapter 5, verse 7, which says, for we walk by faith, not by sight. So I know the message that I received was talking about my injury and recovery. But like I said, it made me think about my, my faith walk as well. So I am doing an in-depth um, look into, you know, how I'm currently showing up. Um, what I'm trusting God for, what I know God is capable of doing in my life and in my business, um, and what my next move should be as far as going forward, how to position myself correctly um, as I move into new opportunities and go after and seek those opportunities. So that's an assignment for me. And if you want to um, join me in just taking a deep, deeper dive into 2 Corinthians um, chapter 5, chapter five, verse seven, let me know because I will be starting on that next week. So I will um, keep you informed, keep you um, up to date on how that goes. Well, um, this is our intention setting session and I hope you have enjoyed it. I enjoy doing these videos. Um, I appreciate all the engagement that we have been receiving. This has really been good. Um, it's been great to get um, you know, from behind the scenes of my pen and actually get on video and be a little bit more visible. And the stats on that, um, on, excuse me, on my YouTube page are growing. So, you know, this is a new one for me. I've always been a pen and pencil type of girl, but being in front of this video is causing me to, um, you know, adjust my approach a little bit and just kind of be, you know, um, a, a bit more, hmm, I don't know what the word is. I guess showing up enthusiastically. I, I usually express myself through my pen, but I want to make sure when I get on this video that I'm giving you the energy that you need in order to start that day with peace, purpose, intention, joy, you know, faith, all the stuff that you need to get through this day. I want to show up like that. So I appreciate you tuning in. If you haven't subscribed to the YouTube page, please do so. I would love it, love it, love it if you would help me to grow um, my audience on that page. And of course, I'll be back later today. It's gonna be a little later today. I might have a surprise for you in the afternoon video, um, which is the Tea Lounge. So it's Nourishment Thursday, where we do, um, we talk about physical and mental and emotional well-being. And there's just a, a little um, inspiration inspired, uh, inspiration shared around that. but. I hope you'll tune back in later today. Check out that um, segment. And I will see you next week because we go Monday through Thursday. Sister, have to take, take some days off after that. But um, I'll be back on Monday. All right. I love you for real. Thank you for tuning in. Have a great weekend. This is Melissa with Origins of Peace. Peace. <laughs>